you know, let me you know first check the topology for the fabric path. So let me log into the N7K1 and then. So see how many ports are located. We need to see. So we see membership. So you'll see. Okay, this port is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So let's make a topology out of that. So also note it down. You know what's going to be our topology. Right. So. This is N7K1, right? This is N7K2. N5K1. N5K2. And there will be a four ports. One, two, three, and four. Like this also, it is one, two, three four and this is four port going right, and here also four port is going so this is one by one two one by four and this is one by five to eight right and this is one by one to four, and this is one by five to eight. This is one by one to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this is also one by one to eight. And here we will do a VPC plus. Right? So let me put it port channel 100. So now what I will do, our our first step will be enable feature right then our second step will be configure fabric path vlan right our third step will be configure switch ID and what will be my switch ID and 7 K1 I am taking 71 and 7 K2 I am taking 72 and 7 K3 I am taking uh, sorry and 5 K1 I am taking 51 and 5 K2 I am taking 52 right fourth will be to decide to multi destination tree so N7K1 will have priority to 55 and 7K2 I will keep priority to 54 so that there will be two multi destination tree and for two multi destination tree there will be a two my root bridge and fifth step will be configure fabric path port And then sixth step will be configure VPC plus on 5K1 and 5K2. So write it down these steps and then we will start doing the configuration so that you should have actually. Let me know once you, you have done with. Okay, look. Done? No, no, no. No, not okay. it. Just I'm doing it. Go to the lab. Right? So. Let me, you know, enable the ports.
then in 5k2 right so let me configure the so what i do feature feature set fabric path here also the same thing feature set fabric path and then in 5k1 you know there this command doesn't work so first you have to install the feature for, uh, feature set fabric path and then you have to enable it you know fabric path so I'll, I'll just let you know uh, conf t install feature set fabric path and then you have to enable the feature set fabric path so in in 7k there is only a feature set fabric path but in nexus 5k you have to first install it and then you have to do it and then on step 5k2 conf t install feature set fabric path and then feature set fabric path right now I'm going to so our first step will be enable the feature set you know fabric path the, you have to enable the all the features fabric path feature you have to enable on all the all of your devices now second is you know you have to configure a fabric path vlan so just i'll put vlan 10 mode fabric path and this command i will run in each of the device so to make consistency whatever i am doing in one of the switch i will do you know on every switch so that I should not forget you know doing fabric path and VLAN 10 mode fabric path now <clears throat> I configured one VLAN and then and then what your next step will be tell me what was the next step we have to configure the switch ID yeah switch ID so it's very simple no fabric fabric path switch ID is n7k171 and then you go to n7k2 fabric path switch ID 72 go to 5k1 fabric path switch id 51 fabric path switch id 52 right now once this is done that means you have manually added you know assigned a switch id else your derived function of each switch will manually uh, you know automatically assign the switch id and with the help of isis they will be you know exchanging their switch id to see whether each of your devices in your network has a has got a unique switch id and then you know with the help of isis they will do the routing part to how to reach from one switch to another switch with the shortest distance now once we have configured the switch id then you have to configure a priority for multi destination tree so as i earlier discussed that there will be a two multi destination tree and for each multi destination tree you will have two you know root bridge so let's make 7k1 as a tree one which is by default and and make its priority much higher so you have to go fabric fabric path go with domain default right and then write root 
priority to 55 and then you go to 7k2 fabric path domain default uh, root priority to 54 so my first highest priority will be tree 1 and which is having root priority 255 and n7k1 will be root and this sec for the second tree my second highest priority is 254 which is n7k2 so each two tree having two root bridge now once we will do this uh, it, it will automatically do everything now what what sh what should we do we have to configure each ports which are there in which are connected into the uh, your uh, other devices as a fabric path so interface one by one hyphen eight switch port mode fabric mode fabric path and then interface eth one by one hyphen eight switch port mode fabric path and go to this one so cdp do source cdp neighbor so where is n5k1 on which port it's connected uh, 9 and 10 okay then what you have to do interface eth one by one hyphen eight switch port mode fabric path and then switch interface ETH one by one hyphen eight switch port mode fabric path right now once you've done then your ISI adjacency over the fabric path will be maintained so how to see the this command so I will write so fabric path IS IS adjacency right so once you will do this you see from n7k1 your isis adjacency has been maintained over all of the interface which is connected to n7k your n7k1 is connected to 5k1 and 5k2 so it has formed the adjacency right the state is up and it has already formed the adjacency now the same thing if you see so fabric path isis adjacency so you will see this one right now the other command to see you know what is the tree and what other things so you will write so fabric path is is topology summary right so once you do so fabric path is is topology summary this command see this in this states that fabric path is is domain is configured on these eight ports i am talking on n7k1 and on n7k1 there are eight ports over which your fabric path is enabled right now as i said if if you have 10 switches or 20 switches also there will be only two tree and for each tree there will be a root so see it has written number of tree is two right for tree one right your root is this one and which has a switch id 71 and switch id 71 is of n7k1 or over which i have given a priority 255 and there will be another tree which is a backup of tree one which has a mac address this one and which has a root priority this one uh, sorry root uh, switch id 72 and 72 is a switch id of n7k2 over which we have given the priority 254 right so this is how your tree is identified now your tree is identified is identified now your tree is identified your fabric path adjacency is maintained so just you know you, you want to see how is the routing table or a switch table looks like so to reach from one place to another what what is the cost so so fabric path root i think is there yeah so let me give it bigger one now you open your you know uh, open your diagram right and under uh, you know hyphen 71 hyphen 0 so first zero is said as a ft tag 
right so which is the tree so it is by default it is own its tree and 71 is the uh, match is this with this one this so abc is written here denotes ft tag switch id and sub switch id and here the ft tag is by default zero because it's it's not taking any tree uh, and it it is you know root it is of its own root so it will be taken as zero switch id of 71 and zero is sub switch id so to reach 71 which is its own id you have a cost zero right and this 60 is ad so don't bother about that right uh, and uh, so i am i am on n7k1 right and to reach myself my cost will be always zero right now to reach to 51 switch id 51 switch id 51 is n7 n5k1 right and and through from where n7k1 so from n7k1 to n5k1 there are four cables one by one one by two one by three and one by four and each cost will be 40 so see it he has uh, you know it is mentioned all the four cost why because there are equal cost and fabric path support equal cost multi path so from n7k1 to n5k1 where your n7k1 id is 71 n5k1 id is 51 so from n7k1 to n5k1 that is from 7 switch id 71 to switch id 51 i can reach via four ports four, four and port is one by one to one by four and the cost is 40 right now from n reach to 52 right so it has again four cable one by five one by six one by seven one by eight it has a cost 40 and each and each cable has a 40 cost so it it will be mentioned equal cost multi-path now from n7k1 to n7k2 that means from n7k1 to n7k2 switch id 71 to 72 you can reach via four path 